February 28, 2022 is a Monday. Welcome to your daily weather for the great city of Chicago. Dress for cold. The temperature today should reach up to 41 degrees Fahrenheit and down to 29 degrees Fahrenheit. Bring plenty of water out today, because humidity is at 58%. You can expect no rain and no snow today. Some clouds. We've got moderate wind at about 11 miles per hour. Tomorrow is going to be cold with overcast clouds. Wednesday is going to be cold with light snow. Thursday is going to be cold with light snow. Friday is going to be cold with light snow. Saturday is going to be cold with light rain. Sunday is going to be cold with scattered clouds. No weather alerts at the moment. And now for the news. Warning, some news stories can be disturbing or offensive. Stories are provided by various sources. In our next story, thousands in the U.S. rally in support of Ukraine. I am very hopeful, Ms. Griffin said. Ukrainian people don't give up hope. Hope. For our next story, Chicago schools to continue requiring masks as mandates fall, live COVID updates. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker's decision to drop the statewide school mandate effective Monday won't change a thing in Chi. Cago, the nation's fourth-large street public school system with 350,000 students. In other Illinois news, Carabao Cup kicks off Liverpool's quadruple quest, while Chelsea's Kepa for Mendy Gamble backfires ESPN. London the first trophy of the English season was claimed on Sunday, and in some style, as Chelsea and Liverpool played. Out a Carabao Cup final for the ages at Wembley stream a replay on ESPN. For our next story, B-52s patrol Europe as U.S. touts ironclad defense after Russia nuclear alert Newsweek. The Pentagon has emphasized its commitment to the defense of the 30-member NATO alliance as the U.S. sent B-52 strategic B. Ombers to the bloc's eastern front and Russia raised its nuclear alert level. For our next story, BP exits partnership with Russian energy company Rosneft Fox Business. Oil giant BP announced Sunday it will drop its stake in Russian energy company Rosneft, the latest private severance of relations with Russia as the global superpower invades neighboring Ukraine. Wow, I have no opinion at all, but Ali Marpet announces his retirement NBC Sports. Tom Brady is not the only Buccaneers player walking away from football this offseason. Left guard Ali Marpet announced H. His retirement in an Instagram post on Sunday. In our next story, sanctions on Russia's central bank deal direct blow to country's financial strength The Wall Street Journal. Frankfurt targeting the reserves held by Russia's central bank is potentially the most powerful weapon in the West's finance. IAL Arsenal, and takes aim at the heart of Russia's financial system. That's it Illinois, have a good one. We're always working to improve our service, please subscribe to show support. See description for sources. This content contains information from OpenWeather, TM, API, which is made available here under the Open Database License, ODBL.